Hello ninjas, welcome back. We've got another 8 Caillou challenge called Sentence Smash. Write a function that takes an array of words and smashes them together into a sentence and returns the sentence. You can ignore any need to sanitize words or add punctuation, but you should add spaces between each word. Be careful there shouldn't be a space at the beginning or the end of the sentence. Check out the example to understand. Cons um, imagine you have an array then of the words hello world this is great see notice in our method we've got a string array that's the input what they're expecting back from us to return is a single string um, they really should have used double quotes here instead of single quotes but um, I'll turn off my OCD for a minute they want the string back hello world this is great it's just all of the elements combined into one string. They call it smash, uh, the, the nice computer science term from that. For that would, of course, it'd be concatenate. So I think it's clear what they're looking for. So you know what the drill is at this point. You're supposed to pause the video, have an honest attempt at this, and then come back when you're ready, if you get stuck or you wanna compare solutions. So that said, I'll go through two solutions. One's gonna be the um, the sort of naive solution, as I call them, where you don't really know what library features are available to you. You're, you're kind of aware of those basic building blocks that we have. You know, we get if else statements, if some condition do this, otherwise do that. We have looping mechanisms like for loops and while loops. We can create variables. We can create our own custom types with classes, right, and make objects from that. And so we'll kind of just use those most basic tools to solve this first. And then we'll see something that's really nice and short and expressive at the, at the end. So for that first part, right, as part of our contract, I like to think of methods as a contract. They give us something to work with that we need. And then as a result, we're expected to return something back in exchange. In this case, we need a string, so I'm going to make a variable to hold that string, and I'm just gonna initialize it with an empty string, and we'll build it as we go. Then I'm going to use a for loop to iterate over all of the words in this collection, and I'll sort of tack them on to this result variable, and I'll add spaces as necessary. So let's make a for loop. Pretty typical one where you start at zero, uh, we'll go less than the words dot length. Remember, we have zero based indexing. So if there were eight words, it would we would index them from zero to seven. You wouldn't want to index by eight. That would actually overrun the bounds of the array, and that causes problems. So here's the plan. Now, the simple thing to do, right, would be to take our variable plus equals, right? That's just concatenating that's adding on to the end of the variable and you could say words i right let's start with the first word where i is zero then i gets bumped up to one and it grabs each word one at a time but this isn't adding our spacing in if you do it like this of course the problem is is that you're going to get a space at the end and if you want to see that we should get an error here because we have one extra space so let's check that out. Uh, it was supposed to be just hello, but we had hello space because we're always adding a space there. So one way to get around that is um, if you want to make sure you didn't do it at the end, you know, you could check, ensure that you're not on the last element. So by that, I mean if i is less than words.length minus one, because that would words.length minus one would be the last element. If you're before that, it's safe to add a space. Right. And if we do this, then we should get rid of that space at the end. Yep. And so that's kind of a simple way to manually do this. Um, you could have um, alternatively you could add the space before the word, um, and you just want to make sure you're not doing that the first time. So you could have said, if i is greater than zero, add a space, 
kind of tomato tomato thing right it's the same idea or you could also even just kind of um, you could start at the first word right and then you can always put the space in front but of course we got to make sure we initialize our with the first word we're going to sort of load the first word in and then um, go for the rest of the collection always add a space before and then we'll, we won't have that extra space at the end so I think this would work too and it's a little less code kind of the same thing but okay so yeah if you like that better that's a couple lines less of code now let's go on to um, a nicer way that I, I think is very expressive and it just involves knowing some features and if you looked this up or knew it already good for you that's not cheating the professionals you search online all the time so don't think you're doing anything dirty there and I'll show you what it is first and then we'll explain it string join you give it a delimiter and you pass your collection and the join method will return a string and so we can check that out in the documentation here string join uh, notice this is in the namespace system and you've got all these methods of the string class uh, yeah there's a string class I'm under methods right now and it's got all of these features but we're looking at join and look what it does concatenates the elements of a specified array or the members of a collection using the specified separator between each element or member and the really nice thing here between each element so that makes it very clear they're not tacking one on at the end or adding any white space at the beginning either it's only between um, elements that's perfect for what we want and then notice we used this version but you have all these other kinds we could have used a char in our case for the space it's just a single character um, but a string works fine too um, that's what I did in mine so you can click on that and read about it if you'd like notice it returns just a single string perfect that's what our contract said um, yeah and we noticed our input was a string array so everything matches we're gonna use a string as our delimiter and we're good to go I'll show you back there and remember the instructions told us to put a space between words so that's all I did there it's a string because it has double quotes if you use the single quote character that would be a char that's how that would be interpreted and then it said to take a string array which we have here with words and yeah we saw join returns a string so let's make sure this works too that I didn't mess anything up and I already see um, let's bring in that system namespace that I mentioned right at the beginning when I showed the do the um, documentation because we didn't make this up we don't have uh, a string class and a join method in our file right we're we're invoking it from somewhere else and so we need to have that reference when we bring in the namespace now this string class and jo its join method are available and if you don't believe me just comment that out or delete it if you want same difference run your test and we should get an error because I didn't make that it's you know what's this string thing doesn't exist in the current context yeah I don't see it do you see a string class there in a join method I don't so we'll go oh yeah using system then uh, the piler can go through there and make all that jive they know what you're talking about they can resolve all of this and life is good so all the tests pass let's do the larger suite make sure everything is still kosher and that looks good we're still green so you know what to do at this point this is where you submit collect your your points your honor points and then it's really important to look through other people's solutions to give you ideas uh, there's many times where you don't always find the best solution I think this one's gonna be um, not a lot of variation this seems like the straightforward way of doing it but 
Never hurts to take a quick scroll, right? And so yeah, string join. Why wouldn't you? String join, string join, string join. Lots of string join. Um, here, somebody did it manually. That's fine. Uh, this one's string join, but why would you make a temporary variable here? You know what I mean? I, I don't think that improves readability at all when you just say returns string join. Um, you know, you're taking the words and joining them with a space. That's I just don't see any value in doing that. That's um, overly verbose, I would say. But, you know, you're not hurting anything. Feel free to look through others as you like, but this example, I think, is pretty straightforward. It's probably safe to move on. So, as usual, thanks for watching. I appreciate the likes and subscribes, and I'll see you in another video.